Okay, here we have the Peugeot partner van. It's a one owner and we've got a chiller unit or actually a freezer unit conversion to it, which is unused and brand new. Uh, it's 2012. It's going to come with a year's MOT because it's a bang on due now. Or not, not now, but we will MOT it. It's soon anyway, we know that. So, we're going to go around the vehicle first of all. It's only on 7,000, it's pretty clean and tidy. Uh, all the tyres are good, as you'd expect something of 7,000 miles. There's no damage. The bumpers are all clean and straight. There's no nicks or scratches. It's in silver. It's a bit dusty because it's been in the back of the sales area. We've just pulled it out. It's dustier than I thought it was, actually. We'll go along the near side first. Everything is good. This is a 90 brake horsepower one as well, so it's got more power than the ones you normally see advertised. Uh, we've turned the blower on already, so let's open it up. So it's cold. Yes, that's definitely cold, but we'll look at the temperature in a moment. As you can see, the GRP lining is all intact. There's a frost curtain there. Uh, 75 mil styrofoam denotes a freeze insulation. 50 mil is a chill insulation. This is 75. Crazy. There's a separate lock switch. Obviously, you can use the key, but uh, there is an electronic locking in the cab. So we're going down the off side. Again, it's clean and tidy. Uh, the roof. It's just dusty. Hopefully you can see that. Let's go in the cab. I've only just turned it on five, not even five minutes ago. Four minutes ago. It started off at 12 degrees and instantly we are down to zero. So it's 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 actually an overpowered unit for the size of the vehicle. I've built many of these before and to have the option to freeze, and this will, when we first tested it, uh, it went down to about minus 18 pretty quickly. We'll leave that running anyway. There's the dashboard. There's no warning lights. The only warning lights on there are handbrake. Off, on again. Uh, seat belts and the doors are open. As you can see, the doors open. But anyway, the dash is clean and tidy. That's all pretty much unused. Bit of storage under there. Passenger seat. It really is unused this in here. Oh, here's all the manuals and the GAH information. I know it's been serviced once. Look, we're going into negative now, minus one. As you can see, Swandale, they're the agents we use. They're over in about 30 miles away from us. They do our conversions for us. Hopefully, I'll show you the carpets. Look, there's the carpets there. What's this? Oh, it's just a dust. Just paper. Anyway, look, even if you look at the pedals, you can see they are pretty much as new. There's no wear on the steering wheel. It's always a concern with something. It's a few years and it's done no miles. But anyway, this one is 100% genuine. So, there we go. Hopefully that makes sense. I'm going to stand back a little bit more now. You can not see the overall image of the vehicle. So, 90 brake horsepower, Peugeot Partner, it's exactly the same as the Citroen Berlingo. The Citroen make them as a body and it's the Peugeot engines and gearboxes, that's the, that's the mix I believe. So it's unmarked, it's ready for signage if that's what you're going to do to it. We will test it. The PDI X, well the test does a lot of that, but we will pre-delivery inspection it, make sure everything's working. Uh, and I've already been asked to get a price for a thermo printer or one of those time temperature dispatch printers. Uh, it's about 550 quid if you want that added. Okay, any questions? Give me a ring. It's 10 grand plus VAT. It'll probably cost you with this equipment today and a new van. That's probably 16 grand sitting there. And it's in metallic silver as well. Yeah, all silver's in metallic, aren't they? Hopefully that makes sense.
Thank you. We've just parked it back into the... Oh. 